Hey guys, so today we are going to be making Mexican wedding cookies. So we just need some butter, pecans, vanilla, flour, some powdered sugar, and a little bit of salt. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by putting two sticks of our butter in the mixer. And we're going to go ahead and beat it for about a minute until it gets soft. And in this case, I'm using unsalted butter, so I'm going to add about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt for each stick of butter since I don't have salted butter and it calls for salted butter in this case. So we're going to add one fourth a teaspoon per stick. Alright, so there's one and two. So we're going to go ahead and beat this for about a minute. until it gets creamy. All right, it's been about a minute, so now we're gonna go ahead and add three-fourths a cup of powdered sugar. All right, so we got the powdered sugar in there, and we're going to go ahead and let that just come together here for about another minute or so, at least so everything is well incorporated. And if you need to, go ahead and stop it and Wipe down the sides just to get everything incorporated. You can go ahead and do that as well. So I'm just going to stop and just kind of, you know, make sure everything is down there so it can all get mixed together. And then we'll start it back up again. All right, so we'll just let the powdered sugar and the butter just kind of come together and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. All right. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much creamed together, the butter and the sugar, and it pretty much looks like soft butter. So that's the consistency that we want. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and add our vanilla. We're going to add about a tablespoon of pure vanilla. Okay, so add our vanilla. Then we're going to go ahead and mix this back up a little bit here. Let me turn the speed down to five. Let that get incorporated a little bit here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one and three fourths cup of flour. And again, you can turn your mixer off when you add the flour or at least just turn it down to a lower speed so that the flour isn't going everywhere. I usually kind of add it in batches so that I can kind of incorporate a little bit. Maybe turn the speed up some, just a little bit. And again, too, you want to stop and scrape down the sides to make sure everything is incorporated. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the flour, and then we'll add our nuts. Alright, so we have all the flour added. Kind of scrape the bowl, the sides of the bowl down. So we're going to go ahead and let that kind of get to a doughy mixture here to where you can actually form it into balls. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add my pecans. The pecans I had were actually whole pecans, so in this case I had to chop them up. About a cup of chopped nuts. Go ahead and add those. I'm going to go ahead and let that get incorporated here for a little bit. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and form the dough into balls and put it in the oven. And this is what our dough will pretty much look like once we put the nuts and everything else inside. So we're going to go ahead. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, like I say, form our dough into little balls. So let's say probably about like an inch 
I don't know. I just kind of guess it, but maybe like about that size. We'll go ahead and just put them down on the parchment paper. Space them evenly apart. I'm gonna go ahead and finish making the rest of these and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, we've got all the balls assembled. So we're gonna, well I still have some more dough left and make another batch, but fit as many as you can onto your cookie sheet and preheat your oven to about 350 degrees and we're gonna let them go in the oven for about 13 to 15 minutes or until they're light brown. And you can go ahead and do your other batch if you need to at that time too. But we're gonna go ahead and put these in 350 for 13 to 15 minutes. Okay, so the cookies have been out of the oven here. And while they're still warm, you wanna go ahead and actually coat them in the powdered sugar. It has some powdered sugar right here. You're just gonna go ahead and just kinda lightly dust the cookie. So it gets that powdered sugar, like I say, while they're still warm, so it still sticks to it. And be careful, because they are gentle. So it's gonna like something like that. Just go ahead and coat them in the sugar. another one. I'm going to go ahead and finish these off and I'll be right back. Alright, and there you have it guys. Mexican wedding cookies. Enjoy and thanks for watching. Bye guys.